We. Hey, most high in Christ, shalom. What's going on, Adwan? Everybody hear me, Tawab? Come on, I got you. Most high in Christ, cool. You hear me, you hear me good, bro? Come I can hear you. You hear me? Can I hear you just fine. I hear you just fine. Most high in Christ, man. We back at it. Yeah, yeah. Doing it again. Chain Breakers Podcast. This is episode two. Episode two of the Chain Breakers podcast brought to you by the ISUPK. You see it right there. The ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal right. Practical Knowledge. You understand? Start out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yahana. You understand? And of course, as with everything we've been doing since 1969, this show revolves around dispelling all myths, um, you know what I'm saying, putting the truth. You know what I'm saying? Back into the world in the, in the hands of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians where it belongs. So that way we can get up right. out of this hellhole that is called America, that is called right. this current world that we live in. It is a piece of garbage. I see my brother Kawal already. He, you right on time, Kawal. You know what I'm saying? This show starts at 12 p.m. for a reason. Okay? It's 12 p.m. Wherever, wherever you are, it's 12 p.m. where we are. Okay? So make sure you get yourself a nice drink. So we can get into these stories, get into these things, man, all, and, and just, you know, and chop it up and, and, and really go in about what's going on in the world today. So, again, Chain Breakers podcast by the ISUPK, you know what I'm saying? But first of all, let me introduce, you know what I'm saying, my Ottawan, you know what I'm saying, captain of 10,000, you know what I'm saying, tuning in with us all the way from uh, Oklahoma City, from Oklahoma City. You know what I'm saying? Hardcore, hardcore uh, right. brother been doing this. You know what I'm saying? And we are, it's a pleasure to have him on with us, of course. In you know what I'm saying? Damn right. Of course. And I got my brother, officer of a thousand Kowal, Fayetnam's oh, finest on, in the building. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> excellent, excellent priest. You know what I'm saying? Again, also a pleasure to have that brother on with us. Officer uh, 500 Yard Mock uh, might be on with us later on today. You know what I'm saying? So also, you know, be on the lookout for that. But nonetheless, we're gonna get right into it. I'm officer of a thousand double one. You know what I'm saying? I can I guess you could say I'm something of a host, you know what I'm saying? My opinions and what I think means nothing. But these brothers right here are gonna break everything down to the to the bone gristle. They're gonna give you know what I'm saying they're gonna give you a full understanding of what's happening in this world. So I suggest you get your get your notepads out, get your books out, get everything, your pens and your pencils, and take notes. Okay, because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be breaking down scriptures. We're going to be going into stories. And like I said, this is also about you know hearing from the people too. Uh, type into the chat if you got questions or you got comments of any kind. Again, we're all going to get phone lines. You know? So that's not a, a myth, a maybe, a kind of, uh, might happen. We are going to have phone <laughs> lines on this show so we can brothers and sisters can call in. And even you know, not even just brothers and sisters, man. If you got us, you know. You see us, you got some devil at your job who says they can confound us or that what we're talking about is nonsense. Give them the number yeah, when we get it. Have them call in, and Captain Yagarwap will make mincemeat of everything that they believe in, and um, it'll I'll be entertained in the process. You know what I'm saying? So that's an awesome, excellent thing. All right? So right. before we get into today's stories, of course, I want to give my, my brothers, my Adawan, an opportunity anything that y'all want to talk about, anything y'all want to bring up, whatever's going on in y'all zones, or just something you just... Off the cuff, you know what I'm saying? Before we get into the official meat and potatoes of the show, there's a lot of things taking place. This world is completely gone bananas. Um, Cap, what, what, what you got for me? Is there anything you, 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 you on your radar, hey, sir? Hey, man, then you know, just that this, this monkeypox thing, man. I don't, I don't know if you get that in the story. I, I didn't look at the stories, but man, the monkeypox is good lord. Oh, we I, can talk I, about the monkeypox. It was, it was a picture. I don't know if your brother saw it. Yeah, probably did. It's on, it's on Facebook. One of the brothers mm -hmm. had it up, mm -hmm. and um, it was a it was a, a, de a devil, a white dude's nose. Ooh we, oh and yeah, I got it. Lord, man, that man, man, that's scary. That's scary, boy. The most high, hey, the most high is the terrible. Don't that's right. That's right. The terrible. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't mess with the terrible, man. Good lord, man. Them man, and them, them homosexuals thought they was gonna play. You know, they got the um, but the AIDS came, and then right. they. They, it's it start working out that they could just get a shot or something, hmm. get a shot or something that they could still do. 
you know, entertaining their homosexual ways and everything. And boy, right. the most high come with monkey pox. Good Lord. It looked like, <laughs> man, that thing's good oh. night. Oh yeah, night. that's it, boy. Good Lord. Man, what is that? That is that's the most high. Hmm. Right. That's the most high. Good Lord. Hey, Amen. Don't mess with the terrible. <laughs> right. Monkey pox, this is called this is called nose necrosis. Necrosis <clears throat> sounds like a villain in some kind of comic book film, and that's what this devil <laughs> has on his face, eating away at his nostrils. Good Lord. Lord. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. Don't ne necrosis, don't necro mean dead. Uh, yes, that's nose, nose is dying. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Necrosis means Good. the cells are dying. This devil can forget about that nose. Good. He can forget about Lord. it. It's not coming. Hey, you, you, you said something to heavy too, Cap. Yeah. You said you said that you know about the, the shot or the pill that the the the, the community, the, the, the gay community was able to take and still go party. Yeah. Well, this here monkey pox, you got to wear that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Con, that, 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 they ain't gonna oh, be yeah. in the closet now. <laughs> no, they ain't gonna be in the closet. <laughs> on. They are out of the closet. Good. That's right. right. And another right. thing I haven't I haven't seen Salakia too is a lot of our, our, our sisters uh locally. I mean, it used to be a heavy footprint on TikTok or just walking around the mall or and you see the the, the black woman with their gay best friend. Hmm. Yeah. Old funny, old funny Terrence. Mm -hmm. Terrence ain't so funny and, and, and he ain't a good shopping for no more. They know that monkey, they know what we've been saying about that monkey pox. <laughs> we were the first one saying it is it's, it's a curse from the Lord for being gay. Right. The CDC yeah. backs it up. We can we reconfirming it, but I don't yeah. see these sisters so proud to have these gay friends anymore. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Where the gay friends it. at? Sisters, I know some sister on here. Is, some sister watching has got a gay friend calling. Comment, tell right. us what it's like. Or what are you doing to protect yourself from the monkeypox? How right. is that going? I heard I heard some some baby had the monkeypox somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they didn't right. gave the baby yeah. the monkeypox. And now that. it's like, they, like you like you said, Kawal, like you said, Cap, you know, the sin is where the monkeypox are. So at one point they were trying to say that the monkeypox was just, oh well, it's skin on skin, right? Which right. it still could be. But now yeah. they're saying no. It is a sexual. Right. You gotta have some kind of real yeah. intimate contact with somebody yeah. to have monkeypox. Yeah. So yeah, right. who knows what this devil was doing with his nose, and who knows what them devils were doing to that baby? You right. Understand? For that uh, baby to end up with monkeypox. You understand? Right. Absolutely. Lock yeah, yeah, cool. It's like if I may also too that that devil that with the necrosis on his nose, they had a list of all the the stuff he had. He had syphilis, HIV, monkeypox. He had more than one sexually transmitted disease. What? I mean, it, this this guy right here is disgusting. You know, you know what? Because he didn't just have monkeypox. He also had who the hell gets his syphilis in 2022? Ain't that like some red tails? Yeah. Some nonsense. It's gone. What the gone. hell are you doing to get syphilis in 2022? Gone. And he got he he got he he had HIV. He went in there for monkeypox. They told this nutcase he had HIV and AIDS, monkeypox yeah. and syphilis. Good Lord. Yeah. So I mean this this is type of monster that we dealing with that's you know that's amongst us. That's why I love when the most high power uh violently separated us from these other nations. That's right. We don't, we don't, we don't do the stuff that they do. Nobody <laughs> black, nobody black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian should ever get monkey pox. That's right. If I may, and, and the, the, the water for that quote, I'm gonna read a scripture cap. I'm you know I'm gonna go to Micah 2 and 10. We always like to start off with Micah 2 and 10, you know what I'm saying? We've revamped. <laughs> But we still doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? We still I'm going right. through scriptures, and we still you know saying, getting our people to understand it, right? But Kawa, what you just said is so heavy. You understand yeah. when it comes to you know, let's like what these devils are doing, and what the and, and and our people thinking that they can like do some of these things. I know coming right. up now, again, this is not you know to 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 go in on anybody or suggest that it's a, it's not a sin because some of you fake Israelite nuts out there. Think yeah. it's a sin for your for your woman to give you oral sex, you know Good what I'm saying? Night. 
Some of these nuts think that that is a sin. That's not what I'm saying. But I remember a time when women, when black people were very discreet about sexual things like that. You understand? Mm -hmm. A time when a black woman wouldn't just be all blatant out loud, like, I do this and I do that. And a black man yeah. wouldn't just be like, yeah, I do this. There were some things that were really private or whatever and like when you were with your lady and so on and so right. forth, right? But now right. we've gotten into a time where some things that we used to say, that's white people stuff, now black people think they can do it. Right. Right. Now black people think that they can be nasty all and, and get into pornography and all that stuff. Right. And that's that's oppressors stuff. That's what they do. You right. understand? Right. You're going to get black people. You're going to get monkeypox worse than this devil on the screen. Yeah. His nose is falling off. Your damn face and eyeballs are going to fall out of your head because exactly. you want to be gay. Exactly. Yeah. Because you think right. it's okay. Because you need an AIDS and HIV in Atlanta right. and Washington, D.C. and Detroit and L.A. and New York and all over the United States and all over the earth. You, right. think, you think it's bad for them. Watch what the Lord does to you because like the <laughs> scriptures right. say, he's going to punish you for that's your right. iniquity. You understand? Yeah, so let me read right. Micah chapter 2 that's and verse 10. That's right, brother. The book of Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. <laughs> Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. Right. This is not your rest. Look, this is not your rest. This is a place where the, <clears throat> the Lord then cursed the land with um, coronavirus and monkeypox. Mm. Good mm. Lord, man. I mean, we're living in the end times. Man. Right. Don't man. Because it is polluted. Whoa, boy, it's polluted with monkeypox. Good right. Lord. <laughs> Good Lord, it's polluted with monkeypox. Man, dude's nose look like a damn furry spider. <laughs> man. man, you want to be gay, yeah, man. You want to be part of this, um, part of this um community, right. part of this homosexual community, man. Good lord, man, mm. man. Don't May come. the Lord have mercy on you if you're black and smack a native Indian. I pray Don't that come. you wake up. Right. <laughs> Don't come. It shall destroy you, mm. even it's with a sword destruction. It will destroy you even with a sword destruction. Man, the sword destruction is but you don't even know who you are. You right. don't even know the sins that you are commit committing. You are don't even know that these people hate you, the people you're following. And right. you're following people and getting monkeypox. Mm. Good gracious. Man, I mean, look at dude's nose. You following him? You following that? Those are wise people. Those right. are the wise people that we really follow. Man, mm. it's polluted. It's going to destroy you with a sword destruction. Man, good Lord. Hey. Hey. Okay, that's that's the end of that, sir. Ooh, wait. Let me see if I have a little something here, man. Since we're on the topic of the monkey box, um, yeah, here's some here's some, a little bit of news. So, so, like, let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this screen and let me share this one. Bear with me just a moment. And while you pulling it up, I was that boy. Yeah, yeah, it was fun, it's funny that you know. A couple of weeks back, when this whole monkeypox thing popped off, you know, UPK, we were posting, you know, what the CDC was saying and little little articles about this is gay. You know, you got to be gay pretty much to catch it. About 90, what, 97, 95 percent of men uh, mm -hmm. women who practice gay sex are at high risk of catching monkeypox. You should have seen the people that was, you know, hit me up and other folks page like, you can't say that. Mm. You can't say it's just gay people catching it. You can catch it. From, it's airborne now. It's skin to skin contact. I don't see that too much airborne skin to skin contact, folks. <laughs> I see gay men yeah. lining up to get the vaccine. I see. I see the CDC continually in Fox News talking about how if you're gay, you're at very high risk of catching monkeypox. Yeah. Let's just let's just call it a spade a spade here. You know, we just ain't trying to be sugarcoat this. This is a disgusting disease that you got to wear. Right. It's yeah. all over your body. Damn well, right, all over your body and your face. So much yeah. airborne. Right, right. Mm. Uh, heavy point, bro. And the thing that's crazy to me, like the the language. I, I almost I love the visceral just language that they've used, and that's the beauty of it. Like you said, bro, it's not us. We didn't right. we didn't come out and just decide to start saying what we want to say about monkeypox. This is what the yeah. news said. This is what the scientists said. They said it, and they mm -hmm. said that men who have sex with men. Are at a higher, much higher rate, or have a much higher chance of con of con contracting the monkeypox disease. That's mm, right. who's getting it. If you are mm -hmm. a man and you pull out your <laughs> rod and put it anywhere in or near another man, you're gonna get monkeypox. That's mm. right. You're gonna get it. Now it's like a trifecta. You know what I'm saying? Now this is like the damn Showtime LA Lakers. This is like 
the, mm. the, the, the damn Miami Heat, the LeBron, D Wade, and Chris Bosh of diseases <laughs> of gay men. Yeah. You're gonna right. get monkey pop, HIV, AIDS, and syphilis all at once, and your damn nose is gonna fall off your off your face. Oh, oh, goodness. Goodness. Disgusting. Mm. We got an article right here from NBC. It says window of opportunity to stop monkeypox spread could be closing as vaccine rollout stall. Man. Damn. Mm. Now, 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 look, I can't even get into the article good before I have to, I have to stop and ask my brothers and my other one about this. It says vaccine rollout stall. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> um, Akim, while I don't stalling that sounds like it stopped, and right. I can only imagine <laughs> that it stopped because a lot of people were going to get it. Now, I thought vaccines are supposed to turn you into a damn uh, 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 some kind of God. glob of, of, of cellular God. mitosis. It's supposed to turn you into like a, a men in black alien or something. That's what yeah. the vaccine does. God. So why is everybody running to get the vaccine? Mm. If the vaccines mm. are so damn dangerous. Right. Yeah. Right. Boy, that's right. 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 That's right. You know what I'm saying? They just... <clears throat> So hypocritical, you know, it's crazy, it's, it's sad, you know, we see our people mixed up in garbage like this and things like this and what the Lord is doing, because it's like, <clears throat> we've been saying, man, like, man, we, like we brought out, we've been saying this for so long about you homosexuals, <laughs> right. how the Lord is going to come on you. You know, I can remember, man, I can remember years ago in D.C., we were just saying that, man, that, man, y'all think, y'all think you're going to go and do what you want. You know, but the Lord is going to come and bring, and the Lord is going to bring something on you that hey, it's going to be worse than AIDS. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be worse than AIDS. And look at this. Good Lord. Man. Oh, God. That's right. Yeah. I, I, I think they, um, I think the vaccine rollouts are stalling because people saw that picture of that the devil's nose and they was like, no, we don't want this. See, the coronavirus, you thought, you, you thought the coronavirus was just, you know, a, a cold, a common cold. Right. You, know, you, you get a little cough. A couple mm -hmm. eggs, uh, no big deal. I've had that before. I've had the flu, yeah, but you right. ain't never had nostril necrosis. Mm. Oh, never had that. Go ahead, so lucky like too. You remember what happened to the five G towers caused coronavirus? Oh man, the five G towers. Flat Earth, flat Earth, flat Earth, forget about the five G towers. Yeah, the yeah. Five, all those, all those blackity black Atlantis, <laughs> flat Earth. Nuts. Talking about some daggone 5G God. towers cause coronavirus. And I still want an apology for that. If you yeah, listen and you're a fake nut and you said the 5G towers cause God. coronavirus, you need, you need to apologize publicly. Because you because you were so sure about that. Now, yeah, right. what, what 5G towers causing this monkeypox? That's right. Yeah. God. I'm trying yeah, to right. figure out because That's right. and, mm -hmm. yeah, and, uh, and these vaccines, you know, now nobody wanted a coronavirus vaccine because it had you know, it's gonna make you be a zombie or something. But yeah. this this rollout, you gotta be understand something too. They might not have enough monkeypox vaccines just yet. Mm -hmm. Think about all the yeah. rich elite that were trying to hoard the uh the uh coronavirus, mm -hmm. uh, the Pfizer and the um the Johnson yeah. and Johnson. You got a lot of homosexuals in these countries, man, that That's are right. rich oligarchies That's that right. are blue yeah. blood, rich gay men, and they want this. Monkeypox vaccine, right. that's right, and they want to hold it, hoard it. Yeah, this ain't this, right. you see, we, we like we tend to think as Negroes sometimes a small scale like your city, like North Carolina or just America. No, this is global, right? Mm -hmm. Monkeypox right. is happening globally, and you got a lot of people that are gay in these countries that are doing the the abominations of old, and mm -hmm. they, they want this monkeypox vaccine. You ain't gonna be able to get it. it, it it's too many of y'all. Somebody gotta stop being gay here. Right, God. Damn right, God. damn right. Okay, Cap. Hey, hey, can you get? Can you grab um, Psalm sixty six and three, Bob Kachow? Come on, come on, come on, come on sir. You know what I'm saying? I, wanna, you know, I had said it earlier. You messing with the terrible. Now, then we, let's just let's just pull it out of the Bible come the come way on. we always do. Come on, come on. This is the Book of Psalms, chapter sixty six and verse three. Say unto the Most High, How terrible art thou? Mm. In oh, thy words, hey, Salakia, Salakia, can you bury back back that up? Um, top of one, <laughs> come on, come on, you just read that again. <laughs> come on, come on, I got you, sir. The book of Psalms, <laughs> chapter 66, and verse 3 say unto the Most High, How terrible art thou? Mm, terrible, mm. terrible, terrible, not nice, That's not right. all love, not all love, like the Christian church say, 
you know, but terrible. Terrible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man, black, hey, let's, we got to get out of that Christian church. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because the terrible is going to get you. That's <laughs> right. Read on, brother. That's right. No, come. That's right. How terrible art thou in thy works? No, wait, wait a minute, Tom. Wait a minute. In their works? Oh, God. <laughs> in, in thy, thy works? works? Terrible in his works. Come on now. We, I mean, come on now. We can't just let that go by terrible. How terrible you are in your works. The most high want us to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. You to go, go against them? Oh, his works is what you see on that on that um, devil's nose. That's mm. right. Mm. That's the most high's works. Yeah, how right. terrible he is in his works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Man, man, good Lord. Read on, brother. Come on, come. Through the greatness of thy power shall mm. thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. Good Lord. You see that? Come you come. see that? See that? Everybody going to submit unto the most high. <laughs> most right. high power. You know what I'm saying? You run right oh, You think you're going to sit there and flaunt your wickedness in his face? Right. You know you're gonna laugh at the most out of the day. Galatians say I'm the most out will never be mocked. That's right. You don't mock the most high. And That's you're gonna right. sit there in front, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no God. And playing with the most high. Right. Oh yeah, he, you know, he make your nose turn into a I don't I won't know what you call it. <laughs> Good Lord. Good Lord, man, man, but he's the terrible. And that should be that should be something to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We the most high's children. Now he cares about us. Then he set laws for us to obey. Right. Now you go against the laws. I mean, come on. Your nose is going to be looking like that devil's nose. That's, That's right. right. That's I mean, right. Come on. And worse. And worse. And you know, the, Baba, you said something heavy when you said that, that your, your eyeball is going to fall out. And that's mm -hmm. heavy. Your, your damn eyeballs, you're going to be carrying your eyeballs down the street. That's and you're right. still going to be alive. You're gonna mm -hmm. be alive. You're not gonna be dead. Your eyeballs are gonna fall out, and you're still gonna be living. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> That's, That's the terrible. Right. That's, That's the right. terrible works. That's you know, right. <laughs> you gonna be right. like that, uh, like that ghoul on Vampire in Brooklyn, ear falling right, out. Right. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's Who right, we? man. Most man. Cars, man. Yeah, yeah you go ahead, brother. Talk. Let me see. There's any more in it. So lucky, sir. Um. Yeah. I think, uh, well, I, th I think that's it. I don't want, yeah, that was three. it on three. Yeah, yeah, that was come it. Come on, come on, come yeah. on. Uh, most high in Christ, we're going to switch gears just a little bit. We're going on the same mm -hmm. topic, uh, same concept here about doing what you want to do and playing with the most high. Who who, who heard about Carlton Funderburk? Mm. Carlton Funderburk, that's a funny <laughs> name, ain't it? Interesting, right? Well, mm -hmm. Carlton Funderburk is the latest Christian pastor to make himself. An easy meal for the ISUPK under control. Oh, yeah. Of Johanna. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> this cat, I mean, damn, we, we didn't even finish talking about uh, uh, Lamont or Lamar Whitehead. We could barely finish talking about him getting robbed in the church. And now he's riding around in, in more Rolls Royces on That's podcasts right. with, with Fat Joe. Okay. Right. But now we got this cat, Carlton Funderburg. That's right. Now, Carlton Funderburg made headlines because of, because of a rant. That he did in his church, where he berated his parishioners because yeah. they did not buy him a watch. Okay, mm -hmm. but now the latest news is that he has come out and issued an apology. Okay, right. let's see, let's 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 see if we can let's see his apology real quick. Just, just bear with me just a moment Good as I get night. it pulled up here. Yeah, here we go. This is wild. All right, so so let's let's see uh, uh, Carlton Funderburk at the church mm -hmm. church at the well. I think this is in Kansas, Kansas City, I think. Church at the well. Yeah, church at the well, the place where the rivers gather. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Brother, hold on. Let, me, let me let me get. Let me get <laughs> hey, come let me on, get that, that's you know, I say like Christianity out of there. Man, it's it so every time, time man. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't Calvary so well. Let me get the um. Let me get the original rant. First, I think I got it here. Uh, oh, I got it. Uh, oh, here we go. This is insane. Uh, uh, prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen this yet. This is Carlton Funderburg <laughs> at the Church at the Well in Kansas City. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Lockie, here we go. 
Most High in Christ. Y'all can y'all see that? Uh, Aki and uh, Adwan, y'all see that? Kyle, come on. Let me see. Kyle, see it. Kyle, Most High in Christ. All right, let's, let's let's hear what Kansas City Pastor has to say. And y'all know I asked for one last year. Here it is the whole way in August. I still ain't got it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me kick down the door and talk to my cheap sons and daughters. I don't want to hear no more excuses about what y'all can't afford. You can't afford it because you don't see the value here. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear from y'all pastor and father. I'm over y'all. I'm over your cheap expressions. See, that's how I know you're still poor, broke, busted, and disgusted because of how you've been honoring me. Mm -hmm. I'm, not oh, oh. Money. I'm not worth your red lobster money. Huh? I ain't worth your St. John knit. Y'all can't afford it, no how. Nice. I ain't worth y'all Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. I ain't worth your Prada. I'm not worth your Gucci. Who we? He said you still broke, busted, and busted dis and disgusted. I mean, come on, this pastors. I mean, come on, man. You just. I mean, we know you. <laughs> we know you're all about money. We know you're right. all about money. But I mean, come on. <laughs> right, come on. right. You come out blatantly saying it. Tell me, still ain't. I mean, he still ain't got it. What he got? It. He wanted my bottle watch and. This is disgusting, man. I mean, right. you know the reputation of a pastor that he steals money right. in the black in the black and Hispanic community. You know that pastors steal money. You know right. that's what they so, do. Yeah, so you want to come out and just throw a rant about y'all not giving me this and y'all not giving me that? Where am I <laughs> this? Where am I that? I mean, come on, is that a joke? Is that a comedy show? I mean, come on, was that a comedy skit? I mean, right. come on, come on like that, man. It's like, come on. man, that's what's woe unto to say, woe unto the pastors, you know, in the Bible, that's you know, right. because, you know, because I mean, come on. Now, look, what is he going to do to those people? What are those, what are those people? They just going to be so destroyed. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, they already are. They already are because they're in there listening to that garbage. And then right. what they're going to do? They're going to go out and, but you know that everybody's getting the money short right now. Everybody's right. money put right now. I'm mean, used to have some sympathy because everybody get hours been cut and since the pandemic, everybody's money is short. Mm -hmm. And you sitting there throwing a rant about what you ain't got, what they right. didn't give you, what you I mean, goddamn. Dude, right. boy, and he'll be the next one with monkeypox. That's right, right. Man. That's right. Go ahead, it's, it's a lot it's a lot here too, sir. With, with, mm -hmm. so said monkey pox. Clearly, this 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 brother right he, these First of all, he's gay. Everybody, hear me, come on. We ain't exactly. got to even hold him. Exactly. This brother exactly. is clearly gay. He's very effeminate. He know he sounds exactly. like that, that demon that's on him. That effeminate demon that's on him sounds exactly. like a nagging baby mother. That's right. Yeah. That sounds all too familiar. <laughs> Imagine yeah. you in the crowd being a, being a baby daddy that's working, and you got the baby mama, where my Gucci, where my Prada. Where right. my he's a gay man. He's a woman. Exactly. He's, being, he's acting like a, a, a disgruntled baby mama. Exactly. And that that's who probably right. raised him. A bunch of damn women in the church. That's God. right. And his, his frustration lies from Pastor Whitehead, Pastor John Gray, Creflo Dollar, seeing all those private jets, Lamborghini trucks, Poochie, mm -hmm. all that crap. That's right. He's frustrated that he don't have that yet. Ooh, right. how, how many rides does he have to blow in there before he gets his range over? <laughs> He's upset. He, that brother's mad. And, he, and, and, and that profession that they're doing, they are literally pimping the church. And if you black, Hispanic, and they bring in, you still in church, shame on you, man. That's right. Yeah. Shame on you. This this That's man right. has no kind of, you know, respect or, or love for his people. He That's sounds right. like a nagging woman. That's yeah. right. Where's uh, my Prada? Where's my Michael Kors? It only costs oh. this. Oh, yeah. a good night, man. Damn. This, he gonna be, you're right. He's going to be next to the monkey pops. Damn right. right. So, Rocky, bro, that's such yeah. a, damn right. That's such a heavy, yeah. heavy point that you're making about this brother yeah. and, and the connection of the uh, the yeah. effeminate nature 
that he has yeah. in relation to these women because that's exactly what he sounds like. He really yeah. does sound like a disgruntled woman. What do we know about a woman, specifically a woman in the world, is that she's right. jealous. That's right. She's mm-hmm. jealous of other women. Right. Everything that she does is not is not about her. It's not about uh, 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 making her household better. It's not about uh, uh, you know what I'm saying uh, bene- benefiting her family. It's all about her stupid, ridiculous ego and how right. she has to look better than other women. She can't right. stand to see another woman in the same dress as her because somebody might think the other woman looks better in it. Right. She can't stand to see right. another sister whose man treats her a certain way or who gets a certain amount of money or who has a certain job. She can't stand to see it. And this disgusting um, gay pastor, like you said, brother, is the exact same way. He is right. jealous of John exactly. Gray. He is right. jealous of Lamore Whitehead. And now right. he's mad right. at his, quote, unquote, what would you might say, like his husband, or right. he's mad at his man. Because y'all supposed to have me up here looking good. Right. Y'all supposed, supposed to have me up here looking good. Bitch. Bro, I'm supposed to be a, a, a bad B. Yeah. But I'm, bad here, not, I'm yeah. not bad yeah. right now because yeah. y'all are broke and disgusting. You know what? And to, to, to bring it home, if the, if this shows that the same mechanism that makes black women say that black men ain't ish and, right. that, yeah. and, that, and that a black man can't do nothing <laughs> for them, it's um. the same thing. When he calls right. that congregation, uh, uh, what do you say, busted, ugly, and disgusting, or whatever he said, right. that's mm-hmm. because these Christian pastors hate black people. That's nothing that's but right. four black people in that church, yeah, and he right. hates niggas. Exactly. And, hates right. and so that's why he's talking about black people like that. He would never do that exactly. to a church. Black exactly. people, even if they never gave him a dime. Right. He would never no, he say wouldn't. That. He would. He would never talk and, that way to white people. Right, you're right. He, he would never say that. He would never say that to the man of church or, or, right. or the cathedral Presbyterian. <laughs> he would never do that. And you know who says broke, busted, and disgusted? That sounds like one of those triple entendres a woman throws, a gay woman, a gay man throws out. Mm-hmm. What straight man even talks like that? Right, you broke, busted, broke, and disgusted. That sounds like no clothes. That's yeah, it does sound like no. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you know that? You know I'm not going to. You know what they need to do? They need to put all these Christian pastors in one mansion, and you know how they have a club and like you know real, real housewives of Atlanta. Just put all right. the just put all the effeminate pastors in one house and let them throw drinks on each other and, and be gay. Because I mean, because look, people are gonna stop going to church after a while. God. These pastors might lose their job, and now the next thing gonna be they got a reality TV show. All these ex pastors gonna be throwing drinks on each other, wearing their designer that they got from the parishioners, and it's gonna be bad. Uh, you know, bad bad pastors of uh, of Alabama. <laughs> and all, all of them in there gay. <laughs> Yo, God. I, I, I that's an excellent, excellent idea. Bro. That is excellent. God. The bad, God. the bad of the Alabama. That's yeah. it. <laughs> and they, and they have a guest, a, guest, a guest appearance from Creflo Dollar to right. mediate. No, that, that's, that's cool. That's good. Cool. Write it down, put it in the books. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> you might try to put that together to ridicule and show how ridiculous these passes are. The bad passes of Alabama. What do you right, the, the, scripture, the, scripture, the scriptures say they can't work. Right. Yeah. You know, you know the, the, they can't. They, what are they going to do? He can't work. He's ashamed. Right. He can't. He can't. He, he got to eat off the people. He's got to eat off the people somehow. Gotta people. They got to give them a Movado watch. Yeah, you got Michael mm-hmm. Moore's bag. I mean, my uncle, he my uncle, tail fare, he need, <laughs> the pastor needs his tail fare bag. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. How's he going to do his job? He can't right. do his job exactly. unless he, exactly. he, he, needs a, he needs a chinchilla and all of that stuff, you know what I'm saying, to go with his office. You understand? Right. Right. Let's mm-hmm. get a little bit of his official statement. Let's just get a little bit of this nonsense. Mm-hmm. Who the hell knows? And we're going to see how effeminate he is. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Good gracious. <sighs> Boy, get, like Kowal said, like, like Cap has mm-hmm. been saying, on his damn show. What does General Mahayaman say? What do, you, what do you say? Are y'all listening? Is, 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 is this fight on? You know what I'm saying? Cap been saying on this damn show forever. Been saying, get out of the Christian church. Been saying this since 1969 to get out of the Christian church. And yet we still getting scammed by some greasy Negro named mm. uh, uh, Carlton Funderburg. Right. Mm. This, this is what's happening to black people. This is a damn shame. Okay, so let, let's see his pathetic apology. Let's see. Mm-hmm. There might be some clues in here. All right, let's let's see if we were right about his effeminate nature. Let's go. Good evening. My name is Carlton Funderburg. I'm Church of the World, right here in Kansas, Missouri. I want to take this moment to address the now viral video clip from me from Silver Given, August the 7th. 
though there is context behind the content of the clip, no context will suffice to explain the hurt and anguish caused by my words. I've spoken to those I am accountable to and have received their correction and instruction. I have also privately apologized to our church, who has extended their love and support for me. I'm privileged to do life with them. The video clip does not reflect my heart or my sentiments toward God's people. Good night. That's not discernible in the clip. Therefore, I offer this sincere apology to you today. No context could erase the words I used. I apologize to all who have been hurt, angered, or in any way damaged by my words. The zeal of any presentation must be tempered with love and respect, and that was not displayed. Hmm. I apologize to the church at large for any undue scrutiny I have subjected back to. I apologize to every preacher and pastor who must stand up under the comfort of Oh, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Great. Oh, my God. And you know what? If I may, to tell me about Ottawa. Uh, if I'm wrong, just correct me. You know, I can be corrected. That's why I'm in the school. Bro. <laughs> I think this Christian pastor is going to get that Movado watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll get it. Yeah. I think, I think he's going to get it. He'll get it. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's like a, he like, he just like, um, <clears throat> what's his name? Is it, was that Creflo Dollar? Yeah. Creflo Dollar was talking about, um, now you don't, don't, don't pay on tithes now. Yeah. All right. Because right. Now, like, <clears throat> like um, General Mahiman said, or did, I, I don't know if I can remember, it was it General Mahiman or Commander General Yohannam? Either one of, one of them said that now he's going to get your love gift. Yeah, it was General right. Mahiman. He said, now you're going to get your love gift. You know, he's going right. to, you know, it's like now, he like said, you, you don't, now he's going to get more than he going to get tithes. That's right. They don't get more than tithes. Now they're going to get their love gift because, oh, look at that. Look at that. Right, man. right. Oh, 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 Lord, bless them. Give them money. Give them money. Give them this. Give them right. that. Oh, he's going to get 10 boom of auto washes. That's right. <laughs> he's going to get them all. He's going to get down. He's going to get mine. New, get a new car, or jet, or something. Right. He's going to get everything now because now he came and stood there and Holding the damn mic like I'm holding a rod and shit. And then <laughs> come, 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 come. Now he's just, uh, uh, man, uh, uh, no man, come on, man. Right, right. Um, it's a, it's a circus, man. Christian, right. Christian church is a circus, man. Damn right. A, <laughs> go ahead, brother. It's a lot of too much by me. It was, it was disgusting, man. You know, he yeah. better off just singing the apology like that brother in court. Your Honor, I'm sorry. So the thing, he might well that. That, that, that old stupid apology was just ridiculous. And you're right. Yeah. He's going to get, he, Movado's going to send him a watch. Tyrese yeah. and all these other feminine men are going to feel sorry for him and send yeah. him money. And, yeah. and notice yeah. one thing about the gayness of it. The purple in the background. Oh. Not only was he looking like he's so, yeah. you know, purple fits huh? right in. Yeah, the, purple, the purple yeah. fits right into his agenda. It's right on his little pool pit. And yeah. for the most part, that whole congregation was mostly women. Because also I heard the background saying, that's right. Tell yeah. it. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come this, whole, on. This, whole, this, whole, this whole circus is ridiculous. That apology was trash. If you believe that apology, I mean, oh, come yeah. on. Man. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. And, and Salaki, Salaki, um, now um, Tyler Perry going to get him a, a partner in a, in a movie next. Oh, how can you think that, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tyler Perry, oh. Tyler Perry, he's definitely, Tyler Perry going to be knocking on his door, calling on the right. phone, you know, hitting him up, you know, giving him a partner in a movie or something. He going right. to get something, you know? That's right. Damn right. Uh, look at this pastor we, here, boy. I mean, look Yo. at that. <laughs> and the two little, and the two little bushels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I know. What the hell is that, man? What is that? Two chips? Oh, oh man, yeah, this was really gay. This is gay. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah this, this pastor is, is clearly frustrated that he don't have the diamonds and gold like Whitehead. 
Yeah. Or, or, John, or John Gray. I mean, look at him. He's got the wooden beads on and he's got the, 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 car, the, car, the car salesman shirt. You know, he's, not, he's, he's, a, he's frustrated. I don't know how long he's been preaching, but he wants the money. He yeah. wants the diamonds to go. He's ready to, he's ready yeah. to be a man. For real. Y'all need to yeah. hurry up with my time's money. Yeah. Where's my damn watch? That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I'm gonna start calling up pastor. Where's my damn watch? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then, you know, you know, right. <laughs> and, look, and look, check this out. Christians so crazy, they're gonna be using scriptures. They asking you shall receive. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just, you know what I'm saying? Christianity is a mad joke, man. It's a right. mad joke, you know. Right. And the sad part about it is we are so destroyed behind it. That's right. You know, and these people like this joker right here are playing with people's lives. That's right. People, right. That people dying because of them playing playing with people's lives. Someone like giving him a watch and clothes and that giving him. I mean, come on, man. Right. As, right. as much as um tur turmoil that blacks and Hispanics go through, come on, you sitting there playing playing like that, and you supposed to be leading them to the Most High. Right. You right. supposed to right. lead them to the Most High and the righteousness of the Most High. Damn, those right. men, man, well, woe unto those pastors, man. So Damn, damn right. right. Damn, right. And you, and you know about if, if right. <clears throat> and he, he kept saying, am I not worth your red, your red lobster? Yeah, am I not that. worth your Louis? Obviously, he's not a good pastor. Obviously, you're not worth it. Because all, right. the pastors, all the pastors that are worth it, their <clears throat> congregation pours into them. He might need to go back to theology school because he might be trash. Right. <laughs> he might not be a good pastor. He might not be worth that bravado. <laughs> Who the hell wears bravado anyway in 2022? If I could, he's not a good actor. No, he's not. He's terrible. He's not a good actor to be a pastor. To be a pastor, you got to be a good actor. You got to you right. got to know how to BS people. Right, exactly. exactly. And that's not BSing people. That's coming out asking for it. Nah, nah. Right. You gotta be slick. You gotta be a snake to be a pastor. That's right. That's right. You know a broke character. Yeah, exactly. So he, he don't. Like, he don't fit the criteria. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, what I mean? even being a thief, you gotta have some skills. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta yeah. have some ability yeah. to be a good thief or, or a robber or whatever yeah. the case may be. Right. You can't come out and just say, "Give me, give it, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me." They know what you want. You know what I'm saying? You got to smooth them over. You know what I'm saying? Come on, he, I mean, he's yeah. a bad. He make a bad name for pastors. Right. Right. <laughs> Even though, right. like I said, he make that bad name that pastors have worse. Right. <laughs> you know, he's not right. even slick with it. You know, right. dirty snake with it. And now you got to come out with a, with a disgusting apology in front of the purple background. You're, you're a damn shame yeah. and, and, and disgusting. And all of you are disgusting anyway. But damn, I mean, just, at least the other one's rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was rich and he figured it out. I mean, you just uh, bad. Uh, you uh, broke. That's God. God. Hey, so I can stop it. But you, but you showed um, you showed a clip right there a few minutes ago where was that Richard Pryor? You know, <laughs> that was Richard Pryor. <laughs> Yeah, I had to show Richard Pryor to show how just how clownish. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey, that's how much a joke, a joke that um pastors are. Yeah, right. he, he had his healing glove on. Healing glove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, healing glove. Yeah. But look, that's Christianity. That's how much of a joke Christianity is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Man, uh, damn right. <laughs> it's healing Wait. glove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, oh, while we're on the subject, while we're talking about these disgusting Christian pastors, uh, mm -hmm. do not forget to pay your tithes. Of course, That's right. Uh, right, we pay your tithes to the ISUPK. That's the right. Give all that money. Yeah, give all that money. Up, yeah. Give all the money up. You know what I'm saying? Give you ten percent. You know what I'm saying that you would have spent on all the weed that you can't put That's down. It. Uh, all it. the money that you would have given to uh, Carlton That's Thunderbird. Like, oh, all right. Listen, listen. The ISUPK is telling you right now. I, I'm telling you this. Do mm -hmm. not buy Carlton Thunderbird. Right. Don't do That's it. it. If That's you buy it. him a Movado, or if you want to, if you buy him a Movado, that's your business, but you better give 10% to Commander Junior Hunter. That's right. Damn right. Give 10 to Commander Junior Hunter. If you give Carlton Thunderbird, a, a Movado and don't give Commander Junior Hunter his 10%. You are sinning 
and you are disgusting. Then I'm gonna say you are disgusting. Uh, uh whatever the hell he said, a uh, bum and Plus broken. All. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. You don't get yeah. you know, busted. <laughs> now I'm saying. Go now on. what? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so Lockie, if I could, you know, it's it's really and 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 that's heavy what you're saying because um, Commander Junior Harding, he's not going to take your money and buy him a Movado. Right. He don't want a Movado. You know what I'm saying? He want he going to go and pay people's rent. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's going to get food and for for kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. School supplies for people, for kids and everything. And then right. and the, the, all the money that comes into the ICBK, you see the works on the street. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You see how you see people happy because uh, Commander Junior Hunter has paid their rent. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Paid for, but they bailed some brothers out. You know what I'm saying? Gave money to people. Helping people out all the time. You're not going to see them running around worrying about a damn Movado watch or, or, or driving in Mercedes Benz or anything. Right. That's right. He's going to work. It's going to work for the people. That's it's right. It's going to work right. for us. And we got to come together as a nation. That's why... I, in the in the Bible, that's why it's a commandment that you pay your ten percent to the priests and prophets. You know that's what I'm right. saying? Because why we take care of the nation. Commander right. Jeremiah takes care of the nation. He don't that's go right. and back spend that money on his uh, himself. That's right. No, he did. Like I said, he take care of people. He pays yeah, them right. rent. You know what I'm saying? Get housing for people. You know what I'm saying? Man, go ahead, brother. That's right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Christ, the water for the other one. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so, so we got a, a couple more. We got like an hour left. Uh, we got a few more things we're gonna get into. Something real quick, Kawhi. Cool. I see you sent me something here. This is um amazing. Um, let me pull this up. So, we we know in the ISUPK we follow a strict uh dietary law. That's that right. And this is not something that we just do because you know we like to do it. And which is the general brought that out yesterday too, which is so funny. We tell people that we don't eat pork, and everyone's like, oh, it's such a shock. Like, oh my god, you don't eat pork. Oh my god, you don't eat shark. Why don't you do that? Oh my god, right? And meanwhile, Muslims don't eat pork, or they say they don't eat pork, right? The so-called Jewish man doesn't eat pork, he doesn't eat shellfish, he doesn't eat right. lobster, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? You go to a go let, let us Jewish man walk into a restaurant and say, uh, yeah, I don't eat pork. Uh, while he has his ridiculous, stupid curls hanging out of his Abraham Lincoln hat, <laughs> right. everybody in the back will mm -hmm. scramble to, to wipe down every single grill. They will yeah. disinfect everything. They will get all the pork out of the building. But oh, uh, Mister, you know what I'm saying? Williamsburg is here. Right. Uh, we have to make sure that you know he doesn't eat any pork. But let a, let a black man, Hispanic yeah. and Native Indian, man, so called Hispanic and Native Indian man, say we don't eat pork, and it's like, oh well, why? Mm -hmm. Why don't you? Eat pork? What do you mean? Hey, uh, are you Muslim? No, you just follow yeah. God's laws, right? Well, here's another thing um, that's disgusting and, and, and ridiculous. Here's a story. Raw oysters linked mm. to two deaths in Florida. Right down uh, there. I wanted this down by the panhandle. Where right. our people love to suck down <laughs> oysters. Right. Right? The deadly bacteria that's tainting oysters coming out of grade A kitchens. That's what Good. it said. Now, our people think that that's a damn delicacy. If I, am, I, am I lying, Kowal? Is that not oh, oh yeah, no. Oysters. Our people love oysters. They yeah. love, you know, uh -huh. everything that the Most High God said not to eat, we run to it. Uh -huh. the, the crawfish where, you know, you got to break the head and suck out the body. And another thing, to even eat these disgusting scavengers, it looks gay. All that Bro. slurping and sucking and juice running down your forearm and you lick it, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it don't make no damn sense. You see a grown man eat oysters and order them, and I never understood it. I, I never even tasted one in my life. I'm almost 40 years old, never had one. <laughs> I know some brothers may, but this is the point about it is, I remember saying this at camp a, a few times. Just something was like, just it's going to come a time where your lobster, shrimp, and that oysters y'all eat, the most high goes to the rare parasite that's going to kill you. That's because right, homosexuality was so free, love and pride. What happened? Monkeypox. All That's this. Right. We, we on the street corners every weekend telling people to pay, don't eat shrimp, don't eat pork, don't eat. It looks like what the hell you mean? I can't eat shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, oysters, and shellfish. Because God said not to. We don't have to get down to the science about it. God Go said on. don't eat it, don't eat it. But with this right here is actually killing people. Now this might make headlines. <laughs> it might not. But I'll tell you one thing: if you eat those oysters, you're gonna die. That's right. Those, your crawfish uh -huh. are next, 
and your lobster tails and your crab legs. That's right. All, yeah. all those things God said not to eat. Most I said for us not to eat them. So there God. should be no blacks in the Spanish and the American Indians dying from no oysters. But because we disobey the Lord, we're going to be the ones dying by the boatload. God. We, we, we got to have the oyster. What they do? They crack it open, put the uh, Tabasco sauce and lemon. I see people hey. they slurp it out. It call it so Afro like, If I could, it's so like I'm saying. And one thing about um, see all the abominable things, they're expensive. It's so right. expensive. You know what I'm saying? So like when I can remember my uh, my my mother and my father eating oysters, fried oysters. You know. Mm. Mm. And I can remember them. It's like, man, you know what I'm saying? And and, and um, <clears throat> and then like growing up, and like watching eat them them oysters, and we couldn't eat them. Like, they they wouldn't let us eat them, you know, they're just because, like I said, they're so so expensive. Right, right. They just they would just buy my mother cook them up and every fry them and everything, and and I used to be like, and let us taste it and see that taste, and and it was like just you know any other you know. Um, a bondable thing. You eat it right. and like, oh, okay, you, you you like it and stuff like that. But right. when you think about it, it's like, good lord, it's so it's it's so evil, man. It's so evil. Right. Like it, it costs so much money to buy these things. And like I said, we have in Washington D.C. We have like the wharf down there by the waterfront. I was I, don't, I was just there. Um, I was just there like three years ago. Now you know you know have you seen you saw all the setup right? Yeah. So it's like you have all the seafood. All mm -hmm. the stuff, and look as good you know, as good as like the fish is. All mm. thing they have, they have all the good fish that you can all buy, right? All the good fish you can buy on a day when everybody's crowded down there. You have Issachar's down there heavy, Judah's down there heavy, Judah and Benjamin's always down there heavy, mm -hmm. and Issachar down there heavy. Look, you know what the long lines are? The long lines are for crab legs, shrimp, right. that's right. Oyster, <laughs> Everything right. about them, the long lines of them, and the fish is sitting over there, hardly nobody even touching it. Good mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we mm -hmm. are just so, I mean, we're terrible, man. Like I said, mm -hmm. a sinful to the most high. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 right. all this, I mean, it's like, it's it's crazy. And then I go, like you were just saying, Kawal, like you, you, you're sucking everything. Everything you're 